East Bay students are getting their own hands on learning experience. New at 6, KPIX 5's Don Ford shows us how a group of Berkeley students took learning to new heights. Uh, do, do you need to, uh, I tighten these down. Do you need to loosen them up again? Ted Tagami is helping the 8th grade science class at Longfellow Middle School. They are launching a high altitude balloon that will carry two small devices his company is donating called CANSATs. The students have been learning about satellites and about the atmosphere. Uh, and we actually have a small satellite that fits inside a soda can. Science! They won't get into space, but they'll get pretty close, hitting an altitude of about 100,000 feet, recording the temperature, humidity, and even the Earth's magnetic field. Uh, we need some volunteers. But first, you got to fill the 10-foot-tall balloon <laughs> with lots of helium. Add 150 kids and presto. You have real science in action. It disappeared into the clouds pretty quickly, but that's okay because back in the classroom. A lot. It's over the... The students are tracking it online, watching it climb. It's past Mount Everest and it's past where the airplanes go. The balloon was going to go up 100,000 feet and it was going to pop at that altitude and then it was going to land somewhere like in the hills. Once popped, it will come down by parachute and late this afternoon, it appears to have come down somewhere in eastern Contra Costa County. Now, if they do find that balloon and recover the data, the instructor says the kids will be writing reports all next week, and the best of those reports will become a little YouTube video. That'll make them famous. In Berkeley, Don Ford, KPX 5. The balloon started at Longfellow Middle School in Berkeley, climbed above the Berkeley Hills, and landed <laughs> just west of Pittsburgh.